Hey, what's up guys? My name's Jared, welcome to my channel. This is Walter. Walter, come here buddy, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi to everybody? Yay! Hey Walter. Today we're gonna to talk about the Honda, a little bit about the 911, quick update on the Land Cruiser, and then about the Bushmaster. So, for the Land Cruiser, I took the engine into the machine shop, uh, I'm going to have it uh, bored out, and I've ordered some new oversized pistons and rings. So uh, I also took the head in there, they're gonna rebuild the head. I also um, took the flywheel and the clutch plate in, they're gonna resurface those as well. So, uh, I've ordered the pistons and rings. Uh, I don't have them yet. I need them before the machine shop can bore out um, the cylinders, because they have to match. Uh, so I should get the pistons and rings, hopefully within the next few days. Um, probably get them to the machine shop sometime next week and I would guess get the engine back within a week or two of that point um, Maybe sooner, but so that's what's going on with the Land Cruiser. So obviously it's not here in the shop uh, I am going to be working on the body very soon regardless of the situation and the timeline for the engine uh, I had a few things I needed to do to this car and a few other cars here in the shop like I had the Volkswagen in here So that's why I had to get the frame out um, but I'll be able to pull the body in and work on it in here uh, soon. So, quickly we'll talk about the 911. The 911 is in here uh, for a few small things that I'm, I'm doing to it. Mostly I'm cleaning it up. Um, I just ordered GoPro's new um, 360 degree camera. I think it's called the GoPro Max. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do a drive video. I'm gonna try out that camera and do a drive video. So I should be able to mount the camera in the car. And then in the video, you guys should be able to just pan around um, during the video and look at whatever angle you want. Um, or if I decide not to have that option, I can at least use the camera uh, to pick lots of different angles, even though it's just mounted in one point. So I, I'm gonna uh, try to do some kind of cool driving video with that once I get the camera, which will be a few days from now. Uh, the Honda. So my, I just finished the video on the brakes. I started it like a month ago uh, and just finished it. So you'll notice when I started it, the transmission was still in the car. And by the time I finished it, the transmission was out. Anyway, um, the parts that I ordered from Germany, I'm not gonna get those for maybe months. Um, there seems to be no international shipping. It's all suspended uh, currently. So I can't count on those parts. I, I will probably get them eventually, but it's gonna be a very long time. I was able to find um, most of the, the seals I needed within the US to rebuild um, the wheel cylinders. So you can see real quick. Uh, so I, I rebuilt um, these cylinders, and that's the video that's gonna come out soon for this car. I also uh, rebuilt the brake master cylinder. Um, I still need to do this brake line. But I was able to get those seals that I needed. I was also able to get um, this rubber hose for the clutch system, and I have all the new seals for the clutch to rebuild the clutch master cylinder and slave cylinder. So I can completely do the clutch hydraulics, um, and I've done most of the brakes now. I'm still waiting on brake hoses. I ordered some online that I believe are going to work for the back, some um, metal braided hoses. The front hoses, I can't find the fittings um, to, to buy the, those correct hoses, at least not locally or in the US. Um, so the hoses, I did order a new set of you know front uh, hoses from Germany, but I don't know when I'm gonna get them. So, um, We'll see what happens with that. But regardless, I'm gonna put the engine in. Um, I also don't have any of the seals I wanted to use for the transmission, but most of them I can do from the outside later anyways, while the transmission's in the car. Uh, I really wanted to replace this throw out bearing, but it's just not gonna be possible. That's the type of thing that if it goes out, I have to pull the engine again to fix it. Most of the other stuff I can fix, like the uh, the motor mounts, the transmission mounts, I can replace all those later when I get them while the engine's in the car, but this throw-out bearing may be a real pain down the road, we'll see. Um, but I've greased it as best I can, I cleaned it up, and I'm ready to put this thing in. I've got to hear this thing run, I want to drive it. Um, I don't, I'm tired of waiting, so it's going to go in the car. Uh, maybe I'll take it out again in the near future if, I, if and when I get those parts, um, but it's going to go in soon, regardless. Uh, so... That's the Honda, um, the Bushmaster. Uh, I recently posted a video where I did the rear brakes and I put on these wheels and tires. I love these wheels and tires. I think it looks incredible. Um, like I mentioned before, these are wheels off of um, a Land Cruiser, 
but they're from like the 80s the style and the, the truck is 84 i mean the style fits perfectly i love the color um, i like the size of the tires i think it just looks amazing i'm really really happy uh, with the wheels and tires um, you can see i've got the engine here this is the uh, trunk liner for the honda i've got i've got it sitting out here so the sun can get it warm and nice and flat but so the um the nissan engine i did locate this metal bracket that i needed for the motor mount as well as this uh bracket for the ac compressor and both of those have been shipped and they should be here in a few days so there's a good chance that i'll be able to have this engine um, back in the nissan within the next week or two i'd say for sure two weeks maybe the next week um in addition to that I also bought a new fuel tank. So um, the fuel tank that's in it is probably fine, but I'm sure it's dirty from the gas sitting in there for so long and I don't wanna deal with having a bunch of crap in there, possible rust that might continuously clog up the carburetor. So the gas tanks are cheap. I just bought a new one, I'm gonna replace it. That way I don't have to worry about anything. I've also gotta replace a lot of the, um, the lines. You can see here like a lot of these smaller uh, fuel and vent lines they're so old uh, i'm gonna need to replace that but that way i just won't have to worry that much about it um, you might also notice the frame i painted this i didn't show that on the video when i did the brakes um, but i spent about a day laying underneath this thing with a quart of uh, por 15 and a brush and i just went to town and just painted everything i could reach and then when i pull that tank out um, i'll paint some parts of the frame that i can get to once the tank's out of the way but that made a big difference. It's gonna help um, keep the rust down and it looks great. So that's coming along nicely. Um, one quick thing that I'll bring to you guys' attention and maybe you can help me out with. Um, so the headliner in this thing, if you watched the early videos, you may have seen me kind of tearing out the little fragments of headliner that were left in here. But the headliner hangs in here on a, a wire system kind of like the volkswagen did there's wires spaced out throughout the vehicle and the fabric attaches to it um they use sew in little pieces on the fabric and it wraps around the wire and that suspends it from the ceiling um i can redo that i have done that on a, a other cars i've installed similar headlines i'm sure i could make one and install it uh obviously this isn't a factory thing they, they um this was a dealer um modification this whole thing where they cut the top off and made it into this suv so uh first if anyone has a bushmaster uh please send me and, and it has the actual uh original headliner i would love to see photos of what that looks like um because this thing is so rare and it's so hard to find information on it that i've never seen what the headliner actually looked like and this thing was disintegrated when i got it um so that would be great if you have those i appreciate that um but the other thing is I'm thinking I may just make wooden panels um, and wrap those with fabric. I think that might come out better. It'd be more durable. My concern is if the if the fabric just drapes from here, it tucks under this window. It just drapes across here. There's just fabric with the with nothing behind it. It could easily be ripped. I mean, if something hits it, it could be messed up. So I just I, I'm concerned that I go through the whole hassle of installing that headliner which is difficult i've got to have the windshield out i've got to take the, all the windows out uh it, it would be a big job and then just have it get damaged when i'm hauling stuff in here if someone's sitting back here like a kid and pressing on that it's just going to ruin it so um let me know what you think i may do the panels try to build my own kind of headliner and interior for the upper section of the truck as opposed to what they did but um let me know what you think and if you have photos yeah, send them to me. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but okay, so that's the Bushmaster. Making good progress. Coming along nicely. Um, so, I think that's about it. I think that's all for this week, guys. Um, as always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And uh, until next time, see you later, guys. Bye.